but over the course of 42 kilometres, I would have thought that the wind enough. down a hill, mm. like it would have equaled out at mm. some point. Anyway, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, you Fair are enough. saying. Make Georgie has an sense. opinion on this too. She's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a bite, with lots of emails coming in about, um, you know, these hot cross buns. Yes. Well, I just had a bite of Georgie's bun, and let me tell you... <laughs> what? Yes, Carl. Just keep talking. Well, it's got a dirty I know, I know, and just I don't keep like talking. It. Don't know where it comes from. Anyway, I think it's got too many bits in it, Georgie. Too many bits? Yeah, like the ra too, many ra too many raisins. Yeah. Mmm. They're yeah. perfect, I think they're outstanding oh, buns. You just great buns. All you yeah. do is suck up to Georgie Ben. Yeah. At some point, oh. you've got to go Carl, hammer on Tom News flash. Him. Welcome to the program. At some That's... point, you've got to have a crack. Look, I would suggest you don't have a crack at my buns because they are very, very good buns and I won't hear anything to the contrary. I'm asking you this morning, how cold is it? Wendy says it's so cold that the local flasher was caught describing himself to women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Something new every day. Exactly. <laughs> Came away with a two-point win. He's looking good, Sam Newman. Looked like he's stepped back in time there. Not only his outfit, but also the expression on his face. He looks quite young, Sam. Look at those players still in good nick, aren't yeah, they? They so, are. Yeah. I love a Legends game. Mm. Really, really good. good I don't them. know why the others don't do it. I don't know why Rugby League doesn't do the same thing. And well, they do stay well, rugby, <laughs> rugby Union. Well, yeah, you know. Get, get the old boys out there That's and show true. they've still yeah. got we it. We could get Pete back on the yeah. paddy. There you go. There's get the idea. old fellas out, I say. Thank you. <laughs> let's, check in, let's check in on the weather for the major centres now. It's probably a good idea. I'll start at least. Cairns, fine, 26. Fine, windy in Brisbane and 21. Alicia, Gold Coast will be fine, windy in 20 degrees. It'll be windy in Sydney, <laughs> 17. Excuse us, off you go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Excellent car. Just wait for the lure to land. Still going. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. It's out there. And it's come. Uh, there we go. We got a. You got a duck. I got a bird. <laughs> I got a bird. I got a. Oh no. I, oh no. I'd, I'd go to That's another enough. shot. Okay, okay. Stop now. Stop now. Stop yeah. now. Stop now. Stop now. That's enough. <laughs> well, that didn't end well, did it? Peking duck, anyone? <laughs> It's okay, the bird's okay. Yep, all sorted. Yeah. No ducks, ducks good. No, no ducks yep. were hurt in the filming no. of that sequence. The whole thing was bull shark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pleased with that? What a segment. See, they don't make that stuff at prime time. Dream it come to me. She, she smoked a few darts that one, whatever she. <laughs> eh? A few single malts there. Still not unattractive. As more Australians crave chocolate over sex, 15% uh, want to eat chocolate every day. I feel like I'm doing a late night talk show. <laughs> As opposed to 8% who dream about uh, action in the bedroom. Um, what's so good about chocolate, Lisa? Talk to me. Well, I'm struggling with the idea that chocolate and sex are mutually exclusive. Lisa, w why should we have to choose? Mm. Mm. They're not mutually exclusive. Yeah. Fabulous together. Yes. <laughs> Preferably melted. Oh. And dark. <laughs> With can, nuts. And you can melt your own, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> but it's shaved coconut. It's, <laughs> it's true, desiccated coconut. Desiccated, I've yeah. just <laughs> got to go to my dressing room. <laughs> oh, dear. You can't handle the heat in this kitchen. <laughs> so what's new, Georgie? What's well, cooking good looking? <laughs> All right. Have got it. Of course, you're in between my legs. This always happens. <laughs> this is Oliver the olive python, and he currently weighs about six and a half kilos in. He'll grow to about four <laughs> meters long. How's that working for you, Ness? Go, Georgie. All right, we'll start with Nadia, Carl. Um, what's that thing? What's that, I, what's this that is lazy Susan there on? <laughs> <laughs> you know who this reminds me of? I think that's very elegant. Angelina. Does a bit, This is yes. a very Angelina yes. frock, this one. She's so that's Lauren There's Poulter. There's the lazy Susan again. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Georgie, what do you think? Well, well, I, I'd like to see you do it with some prosthetic breasts. Pardon? <laughs> I'd like you to do it with breasts. Right. It's harder. 
How they, is it harder? They get in the way. Well, they get in the way. I tell you what, if, if, I, if I had breasts and I was parking, they'd be very distracting. <laughs> you wouldn't be parking. Wow. We know where your hands What's would be. What's going on there? <laughs> You'd be locked in a room somewhere far, far away. For many hours. <laughs> I think we should do this. I think we should do we it. We should. <laughs> Go on. I think it would make a fantastic television. No need for airbags. <laughs> would you do it? Of South Korean artist Jun Bum Park. He's been working on a series of videos for years. <laughs> now where he's <laughs> maybe maybe it's Bum. <laughs> he stands above the public place and then record records his hands moving over the scene below. <laughs> Chris, Chris, are you three all right? Why did you stall on Bum? That's a weird name. Of all people, I wouldn't have expected Georgie and Lisa to lose it over Bum. But anyway. So his name's June Bum Park. No, Do you think the mother's name was Bum and the dad's name was Park and the bum name was just too good Definitely to lose? It's hyphenated, yeah. It's a hyphenated Bum Park. Are you yeah, crying, Carl? It might be Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's crying. So is George Sorry, on. Ross. Calm sorry, down, Ross. There's a massive down. Barney rubble going right. on here. Oh, it's all right. Oh, oh, you guys having a good time in New York? Yeah, of course we, we are, Murray. Time. What is your Lisa? What's the most the fun thing you did? I don't think I could ask Carl. I'd be worried. Uh, <laughs> what right. about you, Lisa? What is the most fun thing you did in New York? The banana pudding from Magnolia Bay. What's a banana? Oh, what's a banana? Oh, that's so yummy. What's a banana? I don't even know what a banana is. Neither do I. Banana I had a lovely. Boutique beer last night at a bar called Switch. Uh, what? Yeah, a a beer? beer? Yeah, a of beer. Was it last night or this morning? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know about drinking. It was a bit of both, Murray. Ah, I'm going to take you out tonight, all right? You Me and you, Carl. Oh. I got a fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> I think are... I could pass for eight. <laughs> you two are so cut from the same cloth. Come on, we're going to get a show. You better be careful, Lisa. I may become the new co host. Exactly. <laughs> I've organised for you and I to go out tonight to a bar. I'm going to be your wingman. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, you can be anything you uh, want to be, Zoe. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, no, that's work. absolutely fine. Yeah, I can my new date. You can. Oh, Georgie. Grover. It's on, baby. Maybe, uh, maybe Grover, you could even turn into Super Grover for me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You've got the Today Show microphone. Can yes. you give us your best newsreader's voice? My best newsreader's voice. Here it goes. Today in the news, this stuff happened over in Brisbane. Over on the Gold Coast, something else happened. Blah, 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 biddy, blah. Tell a joke to the Dalai Lama. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Cause a shop, Pizza shop. Pizza? Pizza, pizza shop, yes. Yeah, pizza, pizza shop. And says, can you make me one with everything? Hmm. It's getting 142 carats of white and yellow diamonds. It also has pearls and aquamarines set in 18 karat white and yellow gold. What baby? <laughs> Difficult to get off, wouldn't it? They're always tricky, those things. That's very true. Might, might leave a few indentations. Good at them. Time for a little monkey. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> we don't spank our monkey. What? Variation on the theme there. It's very cute. We don't. <laughs> hey, uh, that was quite funny. At the mind boggle. Did you go and cool off after experiencing a, a close proximity to all those handsome jet ski riders, Nems? I'm wet everywhere as well, so um, this is a really good start to the day. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave that there. Thank you very much for that, Emma. See you tomorrow. Rest them against your elbows, stretch out the inner thigh, and bounce. Yeah. Little bounces. She's still going strong at 73. We will bounce. speak to her this morning. Bounce, 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 bounce. 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 Straighten up. Oh, remember the early 80s car? That was when it was all happening.
<laughs> Carl's incapable of speech this morning. He's just been a little touched by that vision this morning. <laughs> Do you think that was a precursor to when Harry met Sally, George? <laughs> sounded like it. Didn't it? I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> wow. Shane Fonda. Terry knocks up. it out of the park. <laughs> Can we just get the bouncing bit again? <laughs> Bit early, eh? Betrayal. Look at no, that. you could learn stuff from That's that. That's betrayal. It's wonderful. Mm. She was actually hoping for a ring, of course. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. She a bit of weather and thinking. Yeah. She yeah. could always put it on us. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here, Ben? You're obsessed with this. Oh, that's too Ben, write it in, would you? You just got married. Mate, it's got nothing to do. If I was in charge, it'd be slow mo. That's got nothing to do with You just got married. You're a disgrace. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, make sure I'm gonna ring What's Jody and people? make sure she's up that's watching where this. I, Carl, that's where I was making a beautiful point about something that's lovely and romantic. Yeah, and then you got and a some, soft porn. Some bloke in the control room starts playing porn. <laughs> no, it's not it's porn. It's not. It is. You go to any garage sale this weekend, and you will find Jane Fonda's <laughs> videos <laughs> for sale, sale in the twenty cents bin. Everyone's got at least no, three Jane out. Fonda videos. Right. If that's not an Oscar. Oscar nominated role, yeah, I'm the I'll... monkey's uncle. Boy, oh boy, fantastic. The Iron <laughs> Lady. Be quiet, I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, hey. Ooh. What's that got to do with Meryl Streep? Tiki. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? You so just got caught. <laughs> The Iron Lady is out on Boxing Day. I've got a little button here, and just every now and then I'll just go choink. <laughs> choink, do you? Next time you get caught, just look more confused rather than fascinated, OK? Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just think it'll help. OK? Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother. The youngest one in curls. Here's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a hunch, that this group must somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch.